So if you encounter this error while installing Kali Linux, it is very simple. That is because your internet connection was unstable while you were downloading. So what you have to do is download manually. And to do that, we need a download manager so we can pause and resume our download. So head to Google Play Store and then search for 1DM. So 1DM is actually a download manager where you can pause and then resume your download. So let's install this. Secondly, install files from Google Play Store. So you search for files. Now there are lots of files over here. The third one over here, files, this is the one we are installing. You can see Mac apps and softwares. Click on it. I've already installed it, so you just have to install it. So you can see we now have Temox, NetHunterX, 1DM, and File Explorer, which is called Files. So now we have to download the image file, and to do that, open the 1DM. And then once you open 1DM, click on this browser icon up here. Let's cancel this. And then paste in the address. Now this link is provided in the description of this video. And you can also get it from our Discord server. The link will be provided in the description of this video. Now let's hit enter and you select the folder you want to download this file so you can just create a new folder if you want and then use the folder allow start and you can see our download has been initiated now the good thing about this is that you can pause it whenever you want and you can also resume it anytime so even if your network is not stable you won't have any issue because of this download manager you are using now i already have it downloaded so let me cancel it this may take some time to download so you can wait now let me open my files and then locate the file i already downloaded so i'll open my files and then locate the folder so you can see this is the kali linux file i already downloaded 1.75 gig so i'm going to copy it copy to now click on this three dot over here tab and then you can see Temox over here. Now this is the reason why we are using files instead of our normal file manager. Because if you are using your normal file manager, you won't get this option. So let's click on Temox. And then paste in the file we just downloaded by clicking on this copy over here. It will take some time and your file will be copied. So you can see it's currently copying. Okay, so our file has now been copied to this Temox directory. And you can see this is our file over here now we can continue with the installation so let's go back to our temox now to clear a screen on temox type in clear and then hit enter and it would wipe off everything now we have to download the bash script which we are going to use to execute our kali linux file we downloaded so type in this command and then enter the address https to M C E Z W R and then hit enter. So you can see it has now been completed. Now let's type in ls to check the files in that directory. And then you can see two files currently in this directory. Now we have to move over to this file over here, install NetHunter Temox. So I will just copy the name over there and then enter this command ch mode plus x and then paste in the directory i will just put it on the screen so you can see it you can actually type it now once we hit enter it is now going to move to this directory so if we type in ls and then hit enter you can see that it is now green now type in the next command and it's going to locate our file so we can begin the installation so you just have to type in the command dot slash And then hit enter so you can see it is now verifying the image file we have so it is going to check if we have an existing image file if we do then it's going to install from there but if we don't then we have to download it from scratch so you can see over here existing image file found delete and download a new one we don't want to do that so we go with n which is no and then hit enter and it would start extracting the file and then start running the installation now this will take some time so you can grab a cup of coffee while you're waiting. So you can see it has now been installed successfully. Now we have to set up the Kex password and that is what we are going to use to log in. So type in the command and then hit enter. And then type in your password. So let me just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Verify password. Hit enter. 
Would you like to enter a view only password? Let me just go with no so I can see the password. Okay, so we have successfully set up the password. Now we can successfully access our Kali Linux machine. Now to launch Kali, type in the command kex and kex and you can see the symbol over there, hit enter. Now you can close the app and then open your net hunter kex over here and then enter the password over here. You can see the password over here. So let's enter the password which is one, two, three, four, five, six and then hit connect over here. So you can see Kali Linux has been successfully installed. Now you can access all of the Kali Linux tools and you can do whatever you want to do here. Now if you want to stop this program from running, simply head back to Temux and then type in the command kex stop and then hit enter. So after doing that, it would successfully close your Kali Linux and you can see connection fade. So basically, this is how to install Kali Linux on your Android device. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.